Hi everyone, my name is Brian, I'm the 3D print creator and today we are going to take broken pieces of filament out of the original Bambulab AMS for the P and X series printer. We will start by removing the two screws that hold the actual AMS in the box. We also remove all the desiccant from the AMS. After this we can start pulling up the AMS from the box, carefully helping the top to get past the lid. Now you can also see I filmed this video in two days and I'm not wearing the same clothes, sorry for that. When the AMS comes up be careful with the cables on the back, they are extremely short and more on them later in this video. Carefully unplug the cables from the PCB and shake the AMS so the screws will fall into the box instead of on the ground. Now you can place the AMS on its top so you can see the PTFE tubes. Most of the times you can already see where the filament got stuck in the tubes. Unplug the tube from the internal hub unit by pressing the ring into the hub and pulling the PTFE tube out. With the PTFE tube free you can pull the filament or wiggle the tube a little so the filament falls out. But there can still be filament stuck in the internal hub unit. So we are going to check that as well. With the PTFE tubes back in place in the hub, we take some green filament, because green means good, joking of course, but we take some filament that is long enough and we are going to insert this into the AMS like we normally do. We push it until it stops moving. Then we locate the big lever with the spring underneath on the hub and we push that lever. Then we can push the filament through the hub until it exits where your left hand is. Now we know for sure that there is no filament stuck in the hub as well. We repeat this step for all filament tubes on the hub. Now we are finished, we locate the two screws and lay them aside. We can take the box and the AMS and we will flip the AMS so that the inlets are facing us. This way we insert the AMS back in the box. But be careful with the cables on the back. If you try connecting them the way you are standing right now, this will be extremely difficult. But if you rotate the AMS so that you are looking over the backlit of the AMS, you can get your hands in between the AMS and the box, making it very easy to connect the cables. Don't forget to put the desiccants back into the AMS and bring it back to your printer. You are now good to start printing again. But not before you hit that like button under this video. Happy printing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye.